Hello, good morning students. Uh, today I am discussing about continuation part of the previous lecture where I told you how to understand the concept of magnetic dipole. In that series we did magnetic field due to a magne bar magnet along the axis, I mean to say axial line. Today's second application we are going to discuss over here along equatorial line. Equatorial. line okay that is you can say magnetic field due to dipole magnetic field due to dipole perpendicular to axis of dipole axis of dipole it means it is just the case of equatorial line just like case we already completed in electric field let me draw the dipole first let this is the bar magnet suppose that this is the bar magnet here and having north and south pole let this pole is north pole and this is south pole now we will do the perpendicular axis across it let this is the perpendicular axis from the center of dipole let this is the center of dipole and this separation you know that is a and this separation is this separation is again a total separation from this point to this point that will be 2a remember this fact okay now i want to calculate the magnetic field at any point along this axis let this point is p and distance from the center to point p you know yesterday we did that is that will be r now you want to calculate the magnetic field at point p due to north pole of the magnet as well as due to south pole of the magnet okay so let's see how to calculate it. It will be calculated by drawing the line. I'll join them. That this is the distance from north pole to point P where you want to calculate the magnetic field. And this is the distance from south pole to the point where you want to calculate the magnetic field. Now, you know, in case of the magnetic field, north pole will always originate the magnetic field. That's why its direction is like that. This is the magnetic field due to north pole at point P. Now, similarly, magnetic field due to south pole that is always terminating in what? That's why you can write by this way magnetic field due to south pole. Dear student, let this angle is theta. This angle is also theta. Now, I have to draw over here this axis and this is corresponding angle theta. This is corresponding angle theta total angle between two vectors es and pn that will be 2 theta now you can apply the parallelogram law over here that will be resultant magnetic field resultant magnetic field at point p that is net field at point P is equal to use the parallelogram law here that is BS square plus BN square plus 2BS BN cosine of angle between them that is cos theta you know in place of theta here you have 2 theta that's why I should write 2 theta over here this is 2 theta angle remember now try to solve the net magnetic field that will be magnetic field at point P is equal to under root of BS square. What is BS here? Just see BS and BN both have the same magnitude reason because this distance I can write A square plus R square under root and same for this distance that is R square plus A square under root by using Pythagoras theorem in this particular triangle okay 
Now if sides are same, polarity of the pole you know already same, distance is same, it means I can write BS is equal to BN here and let's say it B naught. Say it B naught. Now I can write here B naught square plus B naught square plus 2 B naught square. I am replacing BS and BN by B naught and cosine of angle 2 theta between them. Now try to simplify this b square plus b square that will be 2 v naught square plus 2 v naught square as it is cos 2 theta is there okay now let's see how to simplify this and get the result it will be you can take 2 v naught square common 2 v naught square is common inside the bracket you have 1 plus cos 2 theta left Dear student in trigonometry, 1 plus cos 2, 2 theta, you can write that will be 2 cos square theta. Remember this thing. Okay. Therefore, we can use here 2 b naught square into 2 cos square theta. So, it's root 2 into 2, that will be 4. Root of 4 is 2. Root of b naught square is b naught. Root of cos square is cos theta. This is the result which you are getting by the calculation. Let this is suppose that equation 1. Now we need the value of b naught from here and as well as cos theta from this particular diagram. When you replace it, you will get the value finally. bp is equal to what is b naught? Just see. So here b naught I can write b naught is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi magnetic field at point due to pole strength m. Let pole strength of both the poles will be same. And that is m divided by r square r means a square plus r square whole under root all right into cos theta here that is base upon hypotenuse that's why weight is a and hypotenuse is a square plus r square uh, under root one by two all right now root will cancel out and finally this magnetic field we can write magnetic field bp this is bp okay so b naught value we call uh, calculated this is the value of b naught and this is the value of cos theta here now simplify it that would be mu naught m into 2a m into 2a because 2 is also there 2a this 2 divided by 4 pi here bases are same power will add each other 1 plus half that is 3 by 2 a square plus r square 3 by 2 this is the result which we are getting here all right now magnetic field at point p due to dipole can be given mu naught you know m into 2a what is m into 2a that is magnetic dipole moment which can be written as m vector yeah simply you can write it m now i can write u naught m upon 4 pi r square plus x square 3 by 2 this is the general formula of magnetic field due to bar magnet perpendicular to its axis but you know also if r square is greater than a square this is condition of short dipole then bp could be mu naught m upon 4 pi into this is a square sorry this is a square a square is neglected now what is getting that is r cube r cube is there so this is the magnetic field perpendicular to the axis of dipole dear student yesterday i told you how to calculate the magnetic field along the axis of dipole now it is perpendicular to the axis of dipole same pattern same setup we are getting here just like the electric field only the difference is that here electric field is replaced by b vector which is called magnetic field and dipole moment p is replaced by m which is called magnetic dipole moment 1 by 4 pi f naught is replaced by mu naught by 4 pi only this much difference is there now next topic i want to discuss with you that is Magnetic field due to dipole
due to dipole at general point. This is a simple formula, general point, just like the electric field. If you are able to understand this concept, you could be able to apply it for any of the case around the dipole. So let's see how to understand this concept. Let me draw the dipole first, bar magnet here. Let this is the bar magnet. And suppose that this is north pole and this is south pole. And I want to draw the line over here in order to take the angle. Let's suppose that this is the general angle where I want to calculate the magnetic field, this point. That this point is suppose that P, where I want to calculate the magnetic field. You know this distance always we take R. O is the center of magnet and this distance is A and this distance is A. Now one important thing, direction of magnetic dipole moment is always south to north. Inside the magnet it will be north to south and outside is from south to north. So this is the direction of magnet. I will take care south pole. I will take care north pole. So that vector become easy. South to north, this is the direction of magnetic dipole moment, you know. Now let this is angle theta between magnetic dipole moment R. We will resolve this magnetic dipole moment in two components. This component become F M cos theta. And perpendicular to this component, there will be M sin theta. Remember this thing. Okay. By the same manner, when you deal with the magnetic field concept at point P, along the axis, we will call it E axial, sorry, B axial. When you rotate this dipole by this way, okay? Suppose that you have rotated this dipole and I must draw over here. You have rotated this, suppose that. by different way. Okay. Suppose that you have rotated uh, initially it was at angle theta then 90 degree then other you can take any angle. Okay. Now what is the general formula along the y axis that I will call e B equitative just like the electric field. Okay. So net magnetic field be calculated by this way. Remember this, B axial and B equatorial are always perpendicular. Remember this fact. Okay. So what is the difference here? Along the axial, M cos theta is replaced and along the equatorial, M sin theta is replaced. I mean to say M is replaced by M cos theta and M is replaced by M sin theta. So how? Let me write the V axial over here, which we already calculated. That was mu naught M sorry mu naught 4 pi into 2m upon rq this was the formula okay and similarly b equatorial in place of m along the axial we will take what that is m cos theta we can write here m cos theta and similarly along the equatorial we can write mu naught upon 4 pi that we just now proved m upon rq but m is replaced by which component perpendicular component that is m sin theta so directly you can write m sin theta here. Let this is equation 1, this is equation 2. Now if you are applying the parallelogram law over here, net magnetic field can be written by, let's see the net magnetic field by using the parallelogram law. Net magnetic field at point P, that will be B axial square plus B equatorial square. And as there is 90 degree angle, okay, that's why cos 90 becomes 0. Further, we will take it 0. Now, what is B axial? That was mu naught upon 4 pi, 2m cos theta upon r cube, whole square. Plus, what is B equatorial? That was mu naught upon 4 pi, m sine theta upon r cube, whole square. When you take common from both mu naught upon 4 pi, that is common. You can take outside as a square, it will come out. And m will also come out. All right. And uh, r cube will also come out. Inside the root, what you are getting, you are getting 
टू कॉस थीटा होल स्क्वेयर प्लस साइन थीटा होल स्क्वेयर तो फाइनली टू स्क्वेयर दैट विल बी फोर बिकॉज टू इज देयर टू स्क्वेयर मीन्स फोर यू आर गेटिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ द सेटअप नाउ फाइनली न्यू नॉट एम अपॉन फोर पाई आर क्यू दैट विल बी फोर कॉस थीटा आई कैन राइट फोर इन प्लेस ऑफ फोर यू शूड सिंप्लीफाइड तो वट यू राइट नाउ दैट विल बी थ्री कॉस स्क्वेयर थीटा आई वॉन्ट टू राइट बाई दिस प्लस वन बिकॉज वेन यू टेक वन कॉ स्क्वेयर थीटा स्क्वेयर फ्रॉम इट साइंस स्क्वेयर थीटा प्लस कॉ स्क्वेयर थीटा दैट बिकम आइडेंटिटी एंड इट बिकम वन तो दिस इज द मेन फॉर्मूला जनरल फॉर्मूला ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एट पॉइंट पी अराउंड एनी डाइपोल दैट इज म्यू नॉट एम अपॉन फोर पाई आर क्यू अंडर रूट थ्री कॉ स्क्वेयर थीटा प्लस वन तो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला विच ऑलरेडी प्रूव इन द electric field by the same manner but here also you must go through it it is not that much important but at least you should aware about it now do one thing here you can write it if theta is 0 degree what you are getting if theta is 90 degree what you are getting here you are getting e could be equatorial okay here you will you will get b axial just justify it by yourself all right so this is the thing which you are learning here now most important fact which was asked last year in cbse exam that i will tell you magnetic if there is a uniform magnetic field okay so torque experienced by the dipole you know just like the electric field we will write torque experienced by the dipole torque experienced by dipole in uniform electric field uniform sorry magnetic field okay let me draw the uniform magnetic field here to understand this concept let these are the uniform magnetic field lines okay uniform means they are equally spaced equally spaced lines like this okay and we are putting the dipole in this equally spaced line let this is the dipole initially it is along the x axis all right after that we will rotate it due to torque when it is rotated it will be like that suppose that this is the center of dipole you have to rotate it to rotate it by this way let this bar magnet or dipole is rotated by this way all right and this angle i will take theta just like the electric dipole and you know if this is north pole this is south pole from the south pole this is north pole sorry this is north pole and this is south be careful about okay uh, force will act this side and here on the north it will act this side, opposite side always that will be mb here we will call it mb also just like the electric field it was qe here q is replaced by m and e is replaced by d only that much formula you have to remember now this is called perpendicular distance here this is perpendicular distance if this total distance is 2a from this point to this point and this perpendicular side become 2a sin theta reason being perpendicular upon hypotenuse that will be sin theta so this is the magnetic field which is acting due to this coupling coupling means two opposite forces are acting this dipole get rotated by this way so during the rotation so many factors we are we want to explain first we want to explain the torque what is the torque acting on it net force acting on it then potential energy stored by it when it is rotating in uniform magnetic field finally how much time is taken by this particular dipole to complete one revolution that was the question which was asked in cbse last year okay so let's see how to deal with this particular today we are going to discuss the torque and uh, in next lecture i will definitely tell you how to calculate the other factors too okay first of all torque experienced 
टॉर्क एक्सपीरियंस वट इज टॉर्क टॉर्क इज मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ इधर फोर्स एनी फोर्स यू कैन टेक You can take this force. You can take this force. Magnitude will be same. Into perpendicular distance, which is also called lever arm. So if you see carefully, magnetic force is mb. Into what is the perpendicular distance? That is two a sine theta. Simply you can do by this way. These topics we already revised in electrostatics, but here it is for the magnetism. We can write B here and m into two a separate and sine theta separately. Why m into two separate? It is called magnetic dipole moment. Now I can write torque is equal to m b sine theta. Remember this fact. This is the torque experienced by the dipole in uniform magnetic field. Okay, you can write it also m cross b. M cross b also. Okay, I will tell you another way. to understand the concept of torque also through the coil when coil is rotated okay so this is the first part of the electromagnetic dipole where we are dealing with the bar magnet as a magnetic dipole and due to bar magnet how will you calculate the magnetic field around that so many topics i told you i hope you are enjoying it and if you are any uh, getting any query during the understanding you must share with me you have the different channel to share with me thank you everybody thank you thank you very much